Tapas is often thought of as like an endurance, like a test. Hold your hand in the air for 30 years and don't bring it down just to show how much you love God. Tapas, you know, like some sort of like suffering ordeal uh, or fire, you know, going through the fire. And the, there is an aspect of that because um, the Agni is there, the fire is there, and you tapas is to lift the muladhara into the fire. And the fire removes obstruction, but the actual meaning of tapas is removing obstruction. The principal means in Hatha Yoga of removing obstruction is the exhale and retention after exhale <clears throat> that lifts the abdominals in and up that lifts muladhara chakra into the agni and the agni burns the dross, the obstructions that have come into your nadi system through your reaction to experience. If I react, I create a, a, a knot or an obstruction in my muladhara. And so this lifting of the base in and up after exhale is tapas. In fact, you know, my teachers said, uh, exhale is tapas. It's a beautiful understanding. Exhale is removing what's not needed. Muladhara into the agni, the fire burns the dross and the prana start to flow. <laughs> And it has an effect for the whole body, of course. The clearance of the pranas flowing through muladhara. Right. An important point <laughs> is that this blockage that occurs in the system occurs from our reaction to experience. And the most powerful way that clears that blockage is relationship itself. If I'm in relationship to you, Ida and Pingali f are flowing into Shushimna and it's all good. But if I'm like a little bit, you know, s scared of you or pissed off at you because you've been mean to me. Have you never been mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, just say. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if I maintain the relational condition, you know, love fails not when I am unloved, but when I fail to love. If I am connected to you, then my pranas will keep flowing. And that is yoga. Yoga is relationship. Because in relationship, the pranas have their own intelligence and movement and beauty. So it is the relational condition that is yoga. And you can look upon yoga as that only and not even be thinking about asana and pranayama. If I'm in a relationship, my pranas flow. If I'm reacting to you, I create the muladhara block and I have to go and do a lot of tapas <laughs> to remove it so I can come to you again in relationship. But it's relationship that is the yoga. Hallelujah. That's the main point. 